So I drop him off of a morning to his crew as opposed to leaving a vehicle sitting in a public space. Um, it, it just, it works for us. So anyway, I do have to take the two littlest ones with me, Jackson and Dominic, um, of a morning whenever I go to take my husband to work. So it's just more convenient if I have something that I can just grab on the go that's not huge, a big tote or a big handbag. And this one is absolutely perfect, you guys. I love this purse. This coffee is, um, this coffee, this color is coffee color. Um, it comes in like 25 plus colors. It, I'm sure they have something that you will like. I found this on Amazon. And this video is not sponsored at all, you guys. Um, I just, I like the, the purse and I wanted to share with you guys um, it is by um, the brand is Lola May and it's so convenient I can throw my phone in here um, and then it's got just enough room as you guys can see Lola May um, it has just enough room for my mask my wallet my hand sanitizer I do have a couple of appointment cards down in here as well and also my ink pen if I can grab it and an ink pen and that's essentially all that I really need. I don't need, uh, you know, everything and the kitchen sink. I just need something that's convenient for me to be able to grab and go out the door quickly. And then it does have this little zipper pocket here. And then it has another pocket here on the other side, which I don't have anything in that. That might be a good spot for my face mask now that I'm thinking about it. And um, it is 
labeled as a crossbody bag. I will link this for you guys in the description in case anybody is interested in it for themselves. Like I said, this is a great little bag. It comes in a bunch of different colors and it is absolutely adorable. I love this bag. It is so convenient. I can grab it on the go. Um, the boys have their own little uh, it's actually a backpack that we use as a diaper bag, but since Jackson's no longer in diapers, I only need it for Dominic. We do throw Jackson a sippy cup in there, um, but that's basically it for the boys. So we don't really use anything big uh, for them, so I don't need anything huge anymore to, you know, grab and go out of the house. It also has this cute little tassel, um, and then it starts out as a chain on the straps. As you guys can see and you can shorten it or lengthen it no big deal it has a buckle um, handle but it is a very generous handle as you guys can see it's quite long but um, like I said it can be shortened and this is a crossbody uh, bag but you don't have to wear it as such. Like I said, it's I got it because it was compact and it fit my needs. And it is um, by the brand Lola May, and it will not break the bank. It is um, now. Don't get me wrong, um, the Lola May bags they can get you know up there in price, but this one I think cost right at about twenty dollars. It will not break the bank. Like I said, this was the color that I liked the best. And because it is so convenient and it does have so many cute colors, um, I was thinking about maybe getting a taupe one or a tan one or a beige one. Um, possibly even the black one. But they've got leopard print, you guys. They've got polka dots. They've got pinks and blues. I mean, there is a variety, I'm sure, for everybody out there. But this one is called the coffee color. And um, I think that it's great because it will match my shoes that I just got from Amazon that I showed you guys in a video not long ago that I use mainly to clean around the house, but I do slip them on when I do need just to run out of the house and coming right back. So, and this matches that. So I think it's great. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the new purse that I got and I'm loving it. I'm in love with it and I can see that we are going to have a great relationship <laughs> so anyway I'll link it in the description for you guys um, go check it out like I said this is not sponsored the link that I um, put in the description it's not an affiliate link or anything like that I just I like the bag and I wanted to recommend it to you guys for anybody that this may um, fit I mean it may not be the type of bag everybody likes it is for me it may be for you go check it out and they've also got tote bags and handbags and things like that too as well I mean the the brand Lola May is just amazing so like I said go check it out I found this on Amazon and I'll link it down below so I'm starting with my to-do list on this day and this is Sunday this is the Sunday before Easter and I'm not making just a to-do list for this day this is going to be for the whole week my husband is leaving on monday morning and he will not be back until friday he is going out of town to work he will be um, in the upper part of tennessee working and so i went ahead and sat down on this morning um, and made out my to-do list and i wanted to essentially go ahead and get a few things tackled but not spend the whole day cleaning and I just don't feel like I've made any kind of progress if my bed hasn't been made. So I am going to be making the bed. And I also have my husband's luggage to pack. Um, and to make sure that he has everything that he needs. He has to have special shirts. They're called um, high visibility shirts from where he is in construction. So um, I've got to get all of that together as well but like I said this list is for the whole week this is things that I want to get done while my husband is gone that way he comes home to a clean house not something that you know looks like a tornado hit it um, 
we will be having to leave at two o'clock on Monday morning. Like I said, this is Sunday morning. So we will be having to leave very early Monday morning to get him to where he needs to be. Um, we have to drive two hours away from where we live. We have to uh, meet the crew that he will be riding with down to Tennessee in Frankfort, Kentucky. We live in a small county called Menifee County. So it's a two hour drive. And um, so I've got quite a bit that I do need to get done on this day specifically, but I'm trying to not overwhelm myself and to also make sure to spend time with my husband before he does have to leave. Um, so let's just jump into it and see what we can get done. I really hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys get motivated to get some of, if not all of your to-do list tackled.
you came with my girls, wanna dance by ourselves Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin Yeah, I don't let things get to me But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe Crystal clear that you're head over heels But don't come any closer, my dear Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom, 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 boom dishes now in the kitchen I do speed this up a little faster than normal I realize that I have included dishes in the last few videos that I've uploaded lately this will be the last um, video with dishes being washed in it for the next couple videos um, so that way I'm not being too repetitive and just showing you guys the same things over and over now i do do this load um here and then we're going to skip over to another day in this week and i do do another small load of dishes in the video but like i said i do speed it up faster than i usually would so that way it's not burning you guys out on the same thing over and over Cause I don't need a man to make me feel fine Better sit down, you just shut your mouth mm -hmm. Yeah You Better sit down, you just shut your mouth Cause I don't need a man to make me feel fine Better sit down, you just shut your mouth Yeah You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like luggage packed up all of his work clothes and those bright yellow shirts sitting there those are the high visibility shirts that my husband has to have um, on a daily basis when he works and so I finally got all of his laundry folded washed folded and separated out so that I kind of know what he has here what he needs and what he still needs um, that's not sitting here but luckily I ended up getting everything laid out and there was nothing missing I managed to get it all laid out and packed in one go I didn't have to keep going back so two thumbs up for me I was happy for that also if you're new to my channel I want to say welcome a great big welcome 
I hope you enjoy the content you see here and I hope that you decide to stick around and subscribe um, like and leave me a comment if you're new even if it's just to say hi I really do enjoy the comments as my viewers that are not new will tell you and so here on my channel you'll get cleaning mom life daily life lifestyle um, motherhood cleaning products just a little bit of everything thrown into this channel um, you'll see my children you'll see just my family as a whole and I'm also about to be a grandmother in June of course we don't think she's gonna make it that far we think we're looking at the end of May baby but that's neither here nor there anyhow so yeah I'm gonna be a grandmother coming up and I'm very excited about it so here we are on the next day my husband has already left to go to Tennessee this is a small load of dishes I'm just gonna run through these really quick and it's basically that and it's done and I might be the one you really together and let me show you what I've got here I've got Isaiah's Wilder's Jackson's and Dominic's for the last I don't know 15 years I have been putting the baskets together myself as opposed to going out and buying an already made one and I really enjoy doing it but this year I'm testing myself so I am going to be doing four Easter baskets for different age groups on a budget. So, we've got Isaiah who is 18, we've got Wilder who is 9, we've got Jackson who is 5, and we've got Dominic who is 2. So, I've got everybody's things laid out here on the table in uh, the bags of course that are set behind the baskets I went ahead and separated all of that out so that it makes it easier I do have the grass for each basket already it's not out of the package that I bought it in but it is setting in each basket so I'm gonna bring you guys along as I put these baskets together and see what we end up with see how they look if they need anything added and how I feel about them on a budget and to tell you the truth I think I spent about $15 on each basket so 10 to $15 I'm going to say on each basket so anywhere from 40 to $60 you know give or take on all four so let's get these put together and see what we've got I 
do want to say that although the baskets are not as big with as much in them as what I normally do and what I've always done in previous years these actually turned out to be a big hit with the boys they really enjoyed having more of the candy um, variety as opposed to the items um, being like toys or you know something like that so I think that even though I may not stick with the Easter baskets on a budget for years to come and may go back to you know overdoing the Easter baskets like I've always done I did want to test myself and see and I'm proud that these did turn out to be such a big hit with the boys even though I wasn't happy um, because I didn't add as much but like I said this was doing the Easter on a budget and they were happy and that's all that matters but I did come to terms with it's not necessarily about the toys or the items in it it's just it's the thought of it I see that now and I'm happy that my boys see that but as opposed to going and buying a bunch of toys and throwing in these for now on I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna try to find healthier options instead of just the candy to throw it to throw in here um, for the coming years but I am going to stick with more of the not so much toys and more edibles that's what I'm getting at here so yeah but I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can come up with more healthier options um, in coming years uh, for Easter but yeah these turned out to be a hit for the boys so I did good with Easter on a budget even though I wasn't happy with the baskets they were that's what matters Sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever Would have believed them No reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw Right here, when I got the Dominic's basket There was thick strands Of this grass that was stuck together That I had to pull apart In order for it to actually spread out and separate as you can see there um, pulling the strands apart it was all through like this I bet I spent five minutes pulling these strands apart <laughs> but I guess that's what you get for only a dollar on the grass but it's just grass for an Easter basket no harm but I would never ever ever would have believed them no 
reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me this day and noticed that they were absolutely filthy there was grease on them uh, splatters from food and then it dawned on me that amidst my spring cleaning I missed cleaning the cabinets and that was definitely a first for me I've never forgot to clean my kitchen cabinets in my spring cleaning so I grabbed a magic eraser and a microfiber towel and I got to work and afterwards they look great and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves oh I will open up my eyes so I can see the light oh and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly oh and the darkness starts
pompous firefighters You got me dancing in your store I'm looking like Once I was finished cleaning the cabinets, I looked down and I noticed that the sponge part of the magic eraser had completely fell apart all over the floor. So, and there was water with it, of course. So I just grabbed a paper towel and, and got all of the big chunks up along with the water. And then I grabbed my vacuum and got what was left up. On this day, it's Friday, the day my husband comes home. And so I was waiting on the phone call to leave out to go pick him up. And I thought, well, I'll get a couple loads of laundry, fold it and put away. And did, I was able to get two loads of laundry, fold it and put away. Then right after I got the phone call to go and pick my husband up. And so 
it was done for this day and that's really all I got done on this day. been feeling something for you lately And I am trying so hard to just stay cool Oh man, I think I might be going crazy So here we are on the Saturday before Easter. My husband's at home, all the boys are home, and because we're doing Easter on a budget, it wasn't just the Easter baskets, but it's Easter on a budget, we are coloring Easter eggs using one dollar egg coloring kits and of course we are going to be coloring more eggs than this for the easter egg hunt on the next day on easter day but we wanted to try these two kits out one is called shake an egg um, where the eggs get put into a little bag and you put the dye on top of the egg and shake it and then you just kind of move it along and mix the dyes and then the other one is just a basic, the tablets, the coloring tablets in warm water and vinegar. And the kids had a, a ball doing this. And my husband and I, we had an absolute fun time doing this with our kids. It was fun for the entire family, even though it was Easter on a budget. Also, let me know, what did you guys do for Easter? Did you guys have a great Easter? Did you do a family thing? Do you celebrate Easter or did you just decide to sip this one out? Let me know in the comments. I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like I say I'm doing all right, I'm fine, but I'm scattered with just friends. It's a sleeping
Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky. Okay, you guys, we're coming to the end of the video, and I have to say, I really enjoyed doing this video. Um, I know that it's because it was for, um, mostly for Easter in the video, um, but I really enjoyed it. As you guys can see, I had a time with my family, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you did. Um... And also, if there's anything you all would ever like to see that I've not done or you would like to see that I have done, but it's been a while, just let me know. I'm up to try anything if I can. So just let me know. Anyway, I hope that I did give you guys some motivation. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I think that's got it till next time. Love y'all. Stay safe. Right. With you and I, the future is bright.